Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Alpha Prime of the One Elites. Hope everyone is uh, doing well at home. I've been uh, self-quarantining for the past week. Uh, here in Canada, we have been given orders to self-distance at the moment. Uh, but we want to do our best to uh, do our part. So we've been home for the past week, just resting up and uh, working from home. And uh, doing what we can just to, uh, you know, fight the boredom. We, I just finished... Uh, a poker game with some of my uh, work buddies and that was a lot of fun came in second and we did an online poker game so everyone just uh, got on zoom for the webcamming and we uh, we played online poker together so that was a lot of fun but uh, anyhow back to Transformers Earth Wars wanted to do a warrior video for you guys and this video is we're gonna talk about wall busting bots and uh, warrior class bots and which cores are the best for these kind of bots. Now, they're, they all have, a lot of them have the G1 cores on them or, or have G1 cores, but in reality, I think that the best core in the game is the wall buster for a warrior class bot. Now, uh, my favorite is Sludge because Sludge deals that crazy honeycomb damage. Uh, he can hurt huge... Uh, sections of walls. The more walls that are jo joined together, the more damage he deals. That's his special ability. Uh, so uh, Honeycomb is uh, looks like this, and uh, he just destroys these kind of honeycombs when you get to level 5410 uh, with level 15 wall buster. So that's the magic uh, number there if you want to bust max walls at HQ 16 level. And then, of course, at level uh, 17, you're probably going to need to get him up to level 61, uh, 10 with the 15 wall buster to uh, break those walls. And, um, of course, if you go to G-Metal, that's another 12% extra damage that Sludge can do. So that'll knock off one or two levels uh, for you. Now, the second bot we want to talk about is Nose Cone. Now, Nose Cone uh, has been getting mixed reviews. He just uh, is a new bot that was released last week. But overall, you know, his ability is a little bit cheaper. It's one point less than Sludge's. And uh, he deals damage to one one wall piece only uh or or that's his maximum efficiency like he can hit multiple targets but he'll do more damage to one thing one wall piece and at level 54 9 with a 15 wall buster he can break a level hq 16 wall and you're probably looking at uh level 63 uh 9 to break a maxed wall so uh, I've got on my Decepticon side, I've got uh, Drillhorn here maxed out at level 65. So he can take out max walls um, at the, um, sorry, HQ-16 walls and then uh, HQ-17 walls as well. So at level 63, 9, he can take out those walls, which is really cool. Now, uh, back to the Autobots again. Here we go. So uh, the next spot I want to talk about is Grimlock. Now Grimlock's got an interesting ability. His ability runs through walls and he smashes through multiple targets and does 2,700 to the final target. At level 5415, he can break walls that are HQ16 sometimes, but it really varies on how many wall pieces he's hitting and how lucky he's getting. So his ability is not always consistent. He can deal anywhere from 7,000 damage to a wall piece to, to 17,000. So it's kind of crazy, his ability, and not as uh, reliable. But it's very good because he can deal damage to multiple targets. Now, Ironhide has gotten a nice boost as well. As you all know, uh, or don't know, Morier class bots have all gotten a boost of uh, abilities. They can do more damage to wall pieces uh, with their regular ability. And their special ability deals more more damage to wall pieces as well. So, uh, at level 50, at level 60, 15, level 8, he deals huge damage to walls, like I think around 17, 18,000 damage to a wall piece now. So Ironhide has gotten a nice boost and he's a lot more useful now in the game. Sideswipe is a, is a warrior class bot and he's very underestimated, but he does glass gas damage. So he'll hurt walls and he'll also weaken them 40%. So the other balls, bots are attacking, they're going to uh, cripple those walls as well. So you can actually combo his ability with say a sludge or a, or another nose cone or whatever you have. If you don't have the magic recipe of 54, nine or whatever I mentioned earlier, Swipe Swipe will give you a 40% advantage there. So side boss like Sideswipe 
and bots like Inferno. Both of these guys are not great wall busting bots, but their abilities are very good to give you increased damage for your other bots. Like you can see there, 30% increase to all damage. And uh, let's see here. While Goldfire is another good bot uh, that does a lot of damage to walls and also buildings. So he, unlike Grimlock, which is they're kind of similar in many ways, but Goldfire will deal more damage to everything in general. So Grimlock will deal more damage to walls, but Goldfire will do damage to everything in general. And, it, and the fire kind of spreads from building to building, which is really, really cool. And of course, with a great ability like that, he doesn't have a lot of health. And so that's the kind of the, the kicker there. So each bot has an advantage and also disadvantages. Slag, Slug is a bot that's an older bot in the game. And he's got the fire rush ability. It should be really uh, increased, I think, the fire rush personally. Uh, but he has more health. Uh, than say, for example, that uh, gold fire there. So as a warrior class bot, he'll deal damage to wall pieces as he runs through the walls as well. So uh, without further ado, let's get into some uh, action and we will compare how uh, these all these bots in action and see which ones are better. Here we go, we got Grendelis from Scorched Earth and uh, his base here is... Uh, as you can see, this is Zone 13. Zone 13 has gotten a lot tougher nowadays. And I uh, probably won't be able to beat this base with uh, these uh, all these warrior bots. But it's perfect for um, my video here. Because we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at the effectiveness of the bots. Now, you can see there's these nice honeycomb shapes here. And uh, this wall piece right here is almost perfect for... Uh, for sludge to attack here so we'll try and uh or this one here as well these are two really good pieces that you want to focus on with sludge's ability and that way you can uh damage as much as you can with sludge's uh, special so you can see the seismic charges it costs five uh special ability points which is not cheap but uh you know it's very effective and because uh, those wall pieces were nicely connected. Look how much damage he did to everything in, in uh, conjunction there. So overall, I think Sludge is probably one of the best bots in the game. Your best bang for your buck for those wall pieces. Nose Cone's a bit cheaper. And like I said, he'd be good for those bases where you only have to deal... Uh, you only have to be, go through one wall piece. If there's only one wall piece, Nose Cone uh, will do the job nicely. As you can see there, he deals just as much as Sludge, but only to one piece. And so if you only need to break one wall, Nose Cone is your man. And so I would use Nose Cone over Sludge uh, for those types of bases that have one wall at split bots. Okay, now uh, let's take a look at Grimlock. Now Grimlock, as I mentioned here, his ability is cheap to use. And look how many walls he, he can damage here. One, two, three. And you can see that uh, those walls were hurt earlier, but uh, he does damage to multiple things at one time, which is really, really nice. You see there, look at him running through everything there. Six, seven thousand, eight thousand damage he's dealing. So his ability is very underestimated, uh, but it's very unpredictable in terms of how he damages wall pieces. And here we go. Let's put down Ironhide now. Let's smash through these walls there. You can see Ironhide's dealing huge damage to the wall. And uh, let's use Sideswipe here. And you can see the glass gas there damaging the wall piece. It's not significant, as I mentioned, like uh, Ironhide or like uh, the other bots. And then um, uh, if we use uh, Inferno's ability here, let's try Inferno's ability here. I want to be able to at least have damage a wall. Oops, sorry, I used gold fire there. <laughs> so um, there you go. I mean, that's uh, you can see there the the the, the fire bugs they they hop from uh, building to building, which is really really nice. And uh, you can see there, I'm trying to click on buildings, but Inferno's ability is to rush into combat. So if there's no nothing to combat, he won't rush into anything. And same goes for Slag. They're combat rushers. And uh, same for Ironhide. So you have to go, you're going to have to go around the walls. And that's why Nose Cone is better than these guys. Because Nose Cone can help you 
bust up that wall and not split up your whole squad like uh, what happened to me here. So uh, I don't have a chance to really beat this base. I'm using all warrior class bots and I was just fooling around with their specials just to give you guys uh, an idea of how they all work and their mechanics. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions about uh, wall busters, that's the best core to use for these bots. But anything that can uh, do damage to walls, add a wall buster to it and then you're going to get that extra damage to the wall. And that applies for all bots. And uh, one last thing I want to mention, warrior bots, they do more damage to wall pieces uh, with their specials and without their specials. So their regular ability deals more damage to walls as well. So hope this video was informative for you guys. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions. And um, for those that watch to the end of this video, I'm giving away five free alpha loot, loot links to five uh, great subscribers. So please like, subscribe, and share my video. And a comment below what's your favorite Wallbuster bot. And I'll hook you up with an Alpha Prime loot, loot link. I've got five to give out. So we're going to give out five random ones to five lucky winners. And that'll be sometime after uh, the newsletter is delivered on Wednesday. This is Alpha Prime of the One Elites. Thanks for watching. Peace out.